Okay, well, welcome to Lee Vanstone, who's doing the 10 minute slot. Lee started a business full time about uh, four weeks ago, is it, Lee, or maybe six? Um, sort of, yeah, six weeks ago. And, uh, but what I particularly like about Lee is he's chairman of a local WordPress Developers Association. And I do love businessmen who stand out from a crowd and lead, uh, are a leader in their field. Uh, so, Lee, we're really pleased to have you as part of this group and talking to us for 10 minutes about you and your business. So, off you go. I'll give you a five minute warning and a two minute warning. Okay. And if you could acknowledge both, otherwise, I'll wave frantically at you. Okay. Off you go, Lee. Perfect, Alan. Thank you very much for the opportunity to kind of speak to you all. Well, so I'm Lee, so I'm from Lee Vanstone Web Development. I'm based over in Whitney. Um, I'm bringing to my business 10 years of experience working in commercial, um, working in commercial and uh, commercial web design, um, having worked on projects most recently for the Grafton Group PLC on their build-based brand, but also most recently for local gaming charity Special Effect and building their new website to work with their ever-changing um, increase in exposure thanks to influencers and their great work that they do. Um, so I've professed interest in WordPress, um, having worked with it for the last eight years. Um, and also, as Alan mentioned, I'm part of the WordPress Oxford meetup group who meet every other month. Um, we run different talks and different specialities, whether it's um, WordPress itself, but also content um, and also anything technical as well. So we kind of have a nice mix of people from sort of hobbyists to people who are development to development or design or just have a blog. Um, so why WordPress? So at the moment, 43% of the web is powered by WordPress. So it's quite a powerful um, tool that's used by a lot of big names on the web. So you can, things like um, sort of Coca-Cola has some of their brand stuff on there. And also most and recently, you'll see Parkrun also does run their website on WordPress as well. Um, so for a bit of background about WordPress, um, WordPress is an online piece of software that allows website owners to sort of manage their own website without needing the involvement of a web developer to make simple sort of content changes and allows them to kind of increase their productivity on the site. Um, as part of my business, I want to, I offer proactive as well as reactive support to businesses to allow them their business to grow their website to grow as their businesses as well and ensure that it works with their marketing efforts um because ultimately we want the website to try and work harder for them and ultimately boost conversions and sales at the back of it um when i work with any of my clients we have a bit of a um requirements gathering process where we try and have, try and gleam all the different requirements that will then help the website work best for them because every business is unique in the ways that they do their different processes um so that's what we kind of I, that's part of the process what i do with all my websites from charity websites all the way to big enterprise websites that i've been involved in um so to kind of give a bit of an overview of kind of like a story that i've had most recently i've kind of shared it a few times in various guises um through this kind of through the, um through the uh, meetings that we've had recently. Um, I recently worked with a client um, who runs a, it's also a networking event, but for managing directors, it's like a peer support group. And part of that, they came to me initially through the meetup group, actually. And they were having lots of issues with trying to maintain their website. It would take them too long to do simple tasks. Even things like just adding content to a website to promote an event was taking too much time. So when they came to me, um, they initially came for me for an audit. I looked through their site and it was quickly um, advised that when we looked through it, it would make more sense to actually redevelop the website to make it work better for them. So the final outcome of that project was that they had a website that became less reliant on plugins um, and licenses, ultimately saved them a bit of money, um, but it also meant their productivity was a lot higher, um, which is, for them is a big big plus it means they can go out there and deliver more of their peer support groups and let the website kind of work in the background um which is a big plus for them um with the with the and any website i do um there's always sort of tailor-made training as well so enabling business owners to be able to support their websites is a big priority for myself um, i want to be able to people to be able to 
easily manage their website. So if it's changing things like email addresses or adding case studies or blogs, um, I want to be able to try and enable that through their website. Um, so in terms of this client, they've when they initially came to me, it was very, as I mentioned, very reactive. There's just things like things were broken or they were needed a bit of advice. It's now moved to more proactive, which is something I kind of look to do with businesses is that I will now, we are now looking at trying to further enhance the website. And hopefully in the next few months, we'll be working on the phase two part of the project, which will kind of further enhance their services and ultimately then allow the business owner to kind of develop it a bit more as he then looks to sort of exit the business as well in the next few years. So that is a nutshell is kind of the overview of the different services that I have got um, here. Um, so yes, that is basically it. most of the things I've got here um, as a service, like I said, um, I'm more than happy to have a one-to-one -one with anyone um, and connect with anyone on LinkedIn. Um, and I'll be happy to have a chat and find out how I can support you and your website and your website support services. Brilliant. Lovely. OK, Sh shall we ask uh, questions of Lee? Because uh, often we get most out of the questions and I'll leave the recording running. So please be nice. No problem. Me and my jokes and Lee and his websites. OK. Um, uh, OK. Uh, any questions for Lee? Uh, I'll, I'll ask one, Lee. You, yeah. You, you've yeah, obviously no been in this industry a while, I guess. You did you start out working for someone and what sort of prompted you to set up on your own? Yeah, so previously to setting up alone, um, I worked for two agencies, one very small agency, so sort of, we were very much a three-man team. Um, and then I then moved to a slightly larger agency in Whitney and I worked for them for seven years. Mm -hmm. um, during that time, I kind of developed a few clients on a freelance basis just through my portfolio website. Um, so my website went from a bit of a portfolio to try and get other jobs um, and then sort of developed relationships with other people and yeah it, like a lot of people with the pandemic and things um, it got me thinking about where I was happy and coming up to sort of 10 years in the industry um, it kind of made me think about like what I want to do the next when I get to that 10 years um, just sorry yeah when I get to when I've got to this point what I want to be doing and I didn't necessarily want to necessarily see myself in my agency yeah. in another three years time. So I think for me, it was good to kind of see what's out there and kind of develop my business a bit further than what I have done now, because I found it quite rewarding trying to help businesses. Like I mentioned, the one I was talked about in the case study, I'm in the process of writing that at the moment, and that's been a really great project to be involved in. Good stuff. I wish you all the best. Yeah. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Thanks, John, by the way. Oh, that was me waving my hand, Alan. In case okay, you see. I didn't, you're right. Okay, uh, <laughs> fire away. Uh, so it's a, 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 well, an, ob an obvious question. I, I think, yeah. are you um, uh, creative or techie or both? And maybe a couple of examples of what, what you've done so that we get a flavor for that. Yeah, no problem. Um, so I am more, um, te more technical. Um, I do. I have been, um, designed a few of my websites, so I've my, my own one, um, and a few of my recent clients I do design. I am kind of thinking about it actually from a networking point of view. I am looking to kind of connect with more graphic designers and sort of content writers, because I think that would be a big one for me. Because um, the biggest challenge I have is more around the content that people need for websites. Um, so I think having someone I can kind of use for even like social media for myself but also for my clients and things like that would be helpful um so yeah i'm definitely more technical side so as i mentioned i've worked on kind of a few big projects um as i mentioned for um the build base group um which was civils and lintels they that's part of their business um what the ones i've done obviously i've mentioned special effects the most recent one which was a big thing with trying to improve the accessibility of that website um, as a business, as the charity had grown from when we initially built it um, sort of six years before previous to that. Um, so that was a big project for me to be involved with, but I've also worked with a lot of um, 
I'm trying to think, um, a lot of education as well. So lots of um, private tuition companies in London I've worked with as well. So there's a, it's kind of mixed, but a lot of them are more of a, not so much web applications, apart from this recent one I've done with the mark, um, the network can agree that was very much sort of an application website, but a lot of them are just sort of big brochure sites. I'd like to try and get a bit more involved in some more e-commerce sites as well, because there's a lot of, obviously there's a lot of big demand out there for people who want e-commerce websites. Yep. So it's okay. like I want to branch into. Can I ask another question? Yeah, please do. Please do. <gasps> so are you, uh, are you using other uh things have you got any um partnerships Hub, hubspot you're a php developer or what, what are you using to do stuff on your websites um so yeah so i use php um with wordpress being built on it i use a lot of that during my to build a lot of the mechanisms that i use for lots of my clients for the for their requirements um so basically i mentioned for the the peer support group that i worked with they wanted a lot of custom things where they could write case studies and kind of share bits of content. So it was important for me to kind of work out a process and that so they can literally sort of select the boxes, select the content they want and then it'll do a nice printout for them. So I've, I've done a lot of different um, sort of technical stuff there. Um, so yeah, mostly PHP, I'd say. Okay, cool. I can probably get you some PHP work if you just want PHP work. Okay, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, okay, um, pricing. What's your cheapest? What's your most expensive you, you've ever done? Um, when I was initially starting out, kind of exposure, I did my the, so the cheapest one was fifteen hundred, um, and then the most recent one, which was this one, was five and a half. Um, but again, yeah, that's based obviously based on doing it sort of part time. So some yeah. of these clients now, I'm mostly doing it full time. So things have changed a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So if someone said to you, well, I can get a website done for 500 pounds, what would you say? Um, I wouldn't, I would say you wouldn't necessarily get the level of, um, I suppose you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't necessarily get the level of um, detailed sort of requirements. I think you'd very much get a very much off the shelf. Um, it wouldn't necessarily work with, it might do, but it might not necessarily like work completely with your requirements. So you might have to compromise a lot more. Yeah. Um, so I'd say that's kind of thing. Yeah. Because you see a lot of like Squarespace and Wix, and they're great, and they do do great things. Yeah. Um, but if you do want something a bit more bespoke to your organisation that works better for you, it's definitely worth um, investing. Okay. In provider. So you get something. My, more, my more. comment on that is that I had a cheap website and um, done by somebody, and I got hacked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my my comment on it would be that's great if that's your budget. Go ahead and do it. Get your web presence established. Let's talk again in eighteen months when you actually yeah. need a proper website. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Lovely. Brilliant. Okay, team. I'm going to stop recording now. Thank you for listening. If you have been.